Good morning, folks. I was so in awe of last night's view, I wanted to encourage each of you to check out Venus and Saturn just after sunset. They are approaching each other to conjoin in just a few days. Three oceans, no cyclones. A week ago, the Veers caught a rare sight when for a few hours there was no tropical development. Anyone know where there are these vertical lines on the image? It's a polar orbiting satellite, and those are the sunlight reflection marks beneath the satellite as it flew over the Earth in stripes to build a full global picture. Terrific article here, based off the Sutter's Mill meteorite from California last year. They're doing their best to spoil the remaining chapters of Starwater by replacing speculations with confirmations. The compound included, and I quote, the variety of long-chain linear and branched polyethers. This is about the fourth article since Starwater Chapter 1 that seeks to greatly expand on our perception of life. Can you believe the top story of today's yet to come? Earth's wobble is essential for life, for climate balance, and for the delicate nitrogen cycles which I am still digging into and finding even more relevance with the climate discussions on this channel. Temperature and life-sustaining conditions are largely regulated by oceanic nitrogen cycles, and at least one of those depends on the rotational instability of Earth. Rain begins in Japan as they await the full brunt of that storm. The development in the Gulf of Mexico and Eastern Pacific is relevant, a major flood concern still sending moisture north and I'd suggest every mudslide prone region in this path to be on moderate alert for the same. If yesterday I said Umberto needs a compass out in the ocean, today I'll say the sun needs a watch to remind him it's solar maximum. Sunspots are still absent to match those flares, still just a pothole away from being in A range again. The solar wind density is rising, but with the speed and temperature of the plasma falling considerably. More protons at lower speed often means less total protons, and our shield's doing just fine. In fact, regaining calm curves on the more important metrics. Magnetic connectivity of the inner planets here. Venus and Mercury really jumped vertically in opposite directions. Still got Mars on the backside. The coronal holes are indeed getting their power back. The Earth-facing bunch is part of that group, even if it is well south of the trans-equatorial position. Tough to tell if those will be highly geo-effective with their solar wind stream, but that central disk one will be. She was obviously much weaker, though. We had a kilometer tall vapor emission and incandescence at the Tungurahua volcano, indicating a possible eruptive phase is starting. The earthquakes are slowly coming back to life as well. The Virgin Islands had three above average, complementing a slight uptick in the North Pacific. Folks, I'll get a bunch of new fly on the walls up today, including the first video-based discussion. It's a short one on homemade cosmic ray detectors, along with about an hour of normal fly on the wall discussion. Shots of our star to close, eyes open. No fear, it's 6.25 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.